Hi everyone, Nancy with our Treasure Hub and welcome back to the channel. I'm cooking something weird today and I gotta go get my chair. to do a video later on so y'all can see oh my goodness 8 o'clock at night how I walk it's pretty funny I might make a short of it he knows so we had some apples um, that need to be used up they were really soft so that's what's in the pan now and like kind of fry them a little bit but not necessarily frying, frying, but I guess they're going to be mush. It's okay. So. There are my apples. Yeah, maybe one day I'll get a phone stand. How about that? I'll miss my little tricks that I use. I might put some cardamom in there. I've really got, yes, this stuff is expensive, but this is really cool because um, you can add it in your coffee. Just a little sprinkle. And take some pumpkin pie spice. Put that in your coffee, just a sprinkle. It's just like you go to the coffee shop. Mm. And it's all in your house. Yes, it's swinging the leg oil. <laughs> Whatever. There you go. Mmm. Ever wonder what they had the little secret ingredient was in their pumpkin pie spice? It's cardamom. There you go. Yeah, get up. So, <laughs> what I'm gonna do, I've got these apples going. I have half an acorn squash left over. And what I did. Cut it up and then I uh, researched it just to make sure about eating the skins of the acorn squash. And they say they are edible. Mm. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> so, I'm really not into eating the skins at this point. If anybody has any ideas or ways maybe to eat the skins of acorn squash, let me know. I will try it. So for the most part, the skins are coming off right now. For on most of them, if, you know, the skins will come off. I never remember eating the skins on acorn squash, but then again, we didn't eat a lot of acorn squash growing up. It was always like, you know, summer squash, your zucchinis, your patames, yellow squash. Pumpkin was always in a can, so we really didn't have, you know, the spaghetti squash and all that growing up. So, you know, that's something new. I'm going to put this in the pan with the apples. You got that going. <laughs> and we'll let that heat up a little bit. Oh. Oh. So, 
I got that going. And then Anastasia and I, um, <laughs> we wanted to make uh, cookies yesterday. And I get this at a yard sale. And it's the cookie press. And it has all the different different shapes. When we want to do pumpkins, we didn't have enough butter for the recipe that goes with this. Okay, so we tried our regular cookie recipe. <laughs> that didn't work, but bring this one here and try to dye the cookie dough orange. So it has it's got orange stuff, orange in it. Everything. This is our cookie recipe, and it it came out so nice and soft. So, yeah, we just went ahead and made regular cookies. But I mean, what I did, I did make the dough, and then I put it in the fridge for a little bit to see that would help firm it up. Using that cookie dough press, and you know, <laughs> more. And then. I made cheese bread, and here's her square bread in the, in the loaf pan, as she said. So this morning, she couldn't figure out why she's been going to the bathroom so much. It's because I made flax bread. I told her this morning, I said, that's flax seed I put in the bread. That's why you're pooping so much. She goes, oh, I really like that bread, man. I'll make more. <laughs> so... I will be making more of that. Um, it is going to show you whether it's a child or an adult. If you don't get enough fiber in your diet, you're not pissing right. So, black seed is one way to get more fiber in your. I want you to eat. Diet is not diet. Diet is meaning what you eat. Um, People have taken that word diet and used it for, you know, I'm going on a diet. You cut your food back, cut this back, cut that back, or add stuff. Diet is what you eat. I don't know if I'm wrong with my fingers. It's just, doctor says it's a nervous tick. I do this whether I'm nervous or not. No. <laughs> Someone had a picture of me doing it, and I wasn't even, I mean, I wasn't even knowing I was doing it. I was unconsciously doing it, and... Yeah, they got pictures of me doing this with my fingers, so that's all right. Well, apples are sweet and sticky, all that sugar in them, so it's all in my fingers. All right, so like I said, I'm just, I mixed this up because I was just trying something different. Um, I've been trying to think of different things to do with chicken and turkey. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, I can go, I can, I have an idea to do. I can say I'm going to make a video of it because then I forget. And I don't, then I forget to go back to watch my video to see what I said I was going to do. So there you go. But I have an idea, because uh, we used to make this all the time. I will try to link that video to this one as when we made our um, crock pot lasagna. And it was, it's, when I could have, I was eating regular hamburger because I didn't know what was going on. But it was, it, that's a great meal. I was going to say it's a good meal, but I say actually it's a great meal. And um, I know I, we did a video way in the beginning. So I will try to link that to this video. So y'all can see it. It looks really simple and easy. We like the crock pot liners. And I, I'm just like, oh my gosh, it depends on who you watch. Come on now. The plastic's not good for you. This, this, and this, that, and that, and the other. And I'm just like, if it makes it easier for you to clean up. Because whether you have a disability or you're in a hurry or whatever, you just use it. It doesn't taste like plastic. <laughs> As many times we've used those, our food never tastes like plastic. Our food tastes like our food. So, there you go. Oh, 
I'll just add a touch more cardamom. And then you can add like pumpkin spice or cinnamon. I don't know why my son get all this up in here. That's just too much. <laughs> I think we crammed everything in here. Alright, and I'm going to add a little bit of cinnamon. Whoops, I lost a little bit of cinnamon. I guess so. Put up in there. Oh, well, there we go. And then, if you don't have to, but you can add a pinch of nutmeg. I figure it's no, it's fall, y'all. Oh goodness, that smells so good. Oh, ho, 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 ho. So, I'm going to hand plate this up. I'm sitting there um, talking to a couple of people, and I'm going to add something to the pan just a minute. See that? Then I'm gonna take a can of green beans. I've drained them. Put that in there. Add a little bit more olive oil. This is not extra virgin. It's just. We get the big ones, and I keep the full one, and just fill this up, and then use it as we go. So I'm gonna just heat those back up, and I will put some some black pepper. Out. A little bit of onion powder. Some garlic powder. Yes, this time I am going to use a little bit of iodine salt. Oh, real quick, while well, I'm thinking about it, I think I have this in another video. But, yeah, you have her, especially in the northern states, in a snowstorm, ice storm, and you didn't have a chance to go get any ice melting pellets or whatever iodine salt will melt the ice off your sidewalk off your porch and off your steps we used it one year so i wanted to see and yes this will melt the ice right off your porch not as fast but it does work look quick tip for today so i'm gonna cook Add that. And then I have. I like this. Yeah. I'm always eating weird stuff, so. And then I have some beets that I left over, some sliced beets. I always tell Anastasia to be careful with the juice because it stains. And then you know, that's what they used to use to dye clothes with. Alright. 
Now, I remember at Christmas time, well, I was, you know, we had big families. I did. <laughs> um, Yeah, you know, I, I caught myself the other day watching a video that I talked about my back turn, and that's kind of rude. But then you can't hear what I'm saying. So, but growing up, you know, we did a big spread of stuff and everything, and my mom always got these because they only came out at Christmas, around the holidays. There was the apple rings and the, um, the beets, the pickle beets, and the apple rings, and then we had oh, olives every year, but we had olives and stuff, and I was just like, you know, there's just some things that you miss that you had growing up. I tried to find a lot of it, and it's like, nobody makes them anymore, but it's just like, that's so cool. And those apple rings, the apple rings, the beet, the beet, um, you know, something else, but I was like, yeah, those were the holidays, you know, all the pies and cakes and everything, so that was pretty cool. So, I'll heat this up also. And then, we'll do a quick taste test. Alrighty. So here's the pumpkin and the squash. I mean, pumpkin and the squash. That apple. Apple. I got apple. And acorn squash. Oh my gosh. That would make a great pie. That tastes so good together. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Can I have my green beans and beets? There you go. All right, that is lunch. I try not to make them long, but when it comes to food, it's just so good. So, yes, if you have a favorite holiday tradition or something you remember from childhood that you miss now. Put it down in the comments below. I'm curious to see what everybody had. But yeah, those apple wings and pickle beets, those are the best. So, thank you for coming along. I will put down in the comments below what I did with the apples and the acorn squash. And the green beans and then the beets. And I also put that chili mix recipe down below too. So, if you haven't like, subscribe, ring that bell for notifications. Check out our links in our bio and the about page and the ones under my nose. And we'll see you next time on our treasure home.